come close and tell me of the liquid shape of your hand, so perfectly molded to fit my hand when we jam. Jig like jellies, heaven sent for West Indian man. Never mind them scornful American belly. You're so warm and friendly. How could you do me a harm? The place where I come from, the place I belong, sing this song. The fruit of your labor, evidence of your appetite, opulent crown of your favor. Pathway to the garden of earthly delight. I try to hold steady, but it gets so slippery down there. No, hold tight when you feel me and cradle my fear, baby. I don't think I'm ready for all your valley might mean. The strength of my manhood betrayed when I scream. Inside your chamber, wonderful flowers grow. Cozy and fertile. A son or a daughter inscribed in your flow. But am I a boy or a man? Or a little of each at the end of his reach. Preach. Baby. See how you test me. I'm still a man after all. Look at how I turn foolish whenever you call. You might test me, but time is longer than rope, and though it feels like I struggle, I hope I can cope. Nope. <laughs> so have me and hold me, never to let me go. Multiply me and mold me. Make me eternally part of your soul. David, come on. I know you're not going to have the phone numbers from me now. Right? Growing up, in my Bible studies, I was taught the story of original sin. You know the story of Adam and Eve? The story goes, Adam was a perfect man, an immortal man, living in paradise for eternity. Adam could hang out with God and shoot the breeze. He could chill with Gabriel, even hang out with Lucifer before Lucifer got kicked out. He even hung out with the cat that would one day become the Christ. But in all that, in dominion over the fish and the fowl, Adam wasn't satisfied. 
So Adam talked to God and said, God, something's missing. And they had a conversation about it. And God said, Adam, go have a nap. Take a nap. I'll take care of you. Adam went to sleep. Y'all know what happened. God snuck and cracked his rib. He woke up and she said, Hi, my name is Eve. As the story goes. And y'all know as the story goes, Adam and Eve were together. They were playing and frolicking through the paradise, through Eden. Again, with the fish and the fowl, the lion and the lamb, having a good time. But as they get in free. But did you know God told Adam and Eve, don't touch that tree? And y'all know what happens when parents tell your children, don't touch a toy. You can play with everything in the place, but except that one toy. But you know what happens when God turned his back and shot over to that tree? And y'all know how the story goes. Eve ate the apple, started talking to some snake. And Adam came back. And he said, Eve, what you done? She said, I want to have an apple. This is really good. You should have some. Now, my Bible studies, I was taught at that moment, it was a pivotal moment when Adam could have turned the tide. Adam could have said, no, Eve, I'm going to listen to what God said. You in trouble. You in that snake. And then, as they taught me, they said, and if Adam had done that, when God showed back up and found out what Eve had done, he would have cast Eve out and given Adam another, another mate. And he wouldn't have been lonely. And folks tell me now, in that moment when Adam chose to eat the apple with Eve, it was the first time a man thought with his penis, and we've been going downhill ever since. But Adam thought about what life was like before Eve got here, before he lost the rib. Dominion with the divine, over the fish and the fowl, communion with God and Gabriel and all that. And he thought but there was something missing. An intimacy I only found with her. And the thought of losing her or paradise, eternity, and the divine, well, it was an easy, no contest. Adam made the apple, got cast out of Eve. They say it was original sin. I say, check it out, wait down, y'all. I want to make sure everybody hears this. They say they call it original sin. I say it was the first time that a man told a woman, I would die for you. And he did. I call it original love. Never to let me go. You had some more lyrics. I'm sorry. That's a whole story. I don't even need to sing after that, really. My bad. And can we give some love to the dancing soloist Candace Michelle Franklin on Half Past Love and Highway? Yes. This is live, y'all. Woo! After belly rubs. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, I'm actually you do skin, and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna just I'm gonna sit out on skin. Y'all listen to the lyrics, then I'm gonna follow with the poem and drive with the music. <laughs> we just gotta talk about this. Let 
talk about infidelity? Can we talk about cheating? Can we talk about it? 